Hey guys! I'm gonna do my best during this video to not say anything that will upset anybody. So it's a, a real. Uh, uh, th this is real my big goal. Commitment because, I know <laughs> because you're known to. Um, if there's one thing that I'm known to do is upset all sorts of people. Yeah. I, I don't see, but therefore I do not discriminate. I upset everybody equally across yeah. the board. I, you know, I, I don't. I don't pick one group over the other. I just start on one end of the aisle and I finish all the way to the other. So today we're here to do Tinder Calvary, a band that almost, uh, almost, we're almost at a thousand videos on our channel. Yeah. A band that we haven't done once. I mean, and I and I feel that there, there is a little bit of discrimination why? in us not checking out this band earlier. Why? I don't know because it's like we've done almost every single band that we could possibly do. No. I bet you Finland has a lot more bands we can do. Okay, maybe I'm exaggerating. Yeah. But this band has actually been mentioned in our comment section of our videos by a few people for us to check them out. And then you're going to their concert. Yeah, and that's kind of why I wanted to check them out. Because the opportunity came up for me to go see them in Toronto. They're going to be in Toronto November 23rd at the Hard Luck Bar. I was there to see um, a band before. I'm trying to think who it was. In Bloodshot Canada? Dawn. Oh. Bloodshot Dawn. I went there to see Bloodshot Dawn. So I'm going to be there on November 23rd to see Tenga Calvary. These guys are touring in North America. They're having a big tour across North America. They released an album, I believe, earlier in the year on Napalm Records. I believe this song is from that same record. Oh. And the name of the song is CNB, uh, Fight Your Darkness. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that Fight Your Darkness is the translation of CNB. I, I could be wrong. Yeah. But, I mean, it kind of makes me believe to be that. Yeah. But maybe it's maybe it's wrong. Anyways, they're a melodic death metal band with folk influences, Ooh. and I know this because I went on Metal Encyclopedia. You did your homework. Beca yeah, because you berate me every si exactly. You berate me every single video that I don't go on Metal Encyclopedia to find out something about the band. You give me shit. You know what I mean? So I did my homework. I went on Metal Encyclopedia. So these guys have a little bit of folk into their music, maybe more than just a little. So I expect some Asian instruments. To be added into their sound which i'm really excited to I, i'm excited to check out this video but i'm really excited about seeing them live because bands like this reminds me of how we discover for example seller darling the whole hearty gurdy thing yeah all right also i'm really excited to see what instruments they use because we found out the hurdy gurdy from seller darling so what are we gonna what are we gonna discover here yeah exactly and then i'm excited because i'm gonna get to see them live so I, I, I'm really looking forward to the show because I really don't know, don't know what to expect from the concert. So I'm really excited about seeing them live in Toronto, November 23rd. If you're in town, come to the show. Yeah. Meet me there. You don't even have to buy me a drink. We can just chat. You know, I'm chatty. We can talk about Peter North. God damn it. All right. Uh, you ready? Yeah.
Okay, so we discovered two new instruments on this in this video. Yeah, the two-stringed kind of cello-looking thing. Yeah, almost like a sitar kind of thing. Oh well, no, the sitar has a lot more strings. I know. And you just sit down while you're playing. Them. Okay, fine. So what what do you call it? A cello. It's yeah, like it's an Asian it's cello. A, it's a two-string cello. The sound of that was incredible. Yeah. It, it had the 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 traditional Asian sound to it. Yeah. Like when you're watching, you know, like uh, shows or movies that that have that Asian influence. Some of that sound you actually hear in uh, Iron Fist, uh, the TV show Iron yeah. Fist from Marvel. I don't know if you watched that show. No. Okay, I watched that show. So sometimes when they go to Kung Lao or whatever the place where he's from, where he learned his his martial arts, the, it has that kind of like sound to it, like as the soundtrack. And it's this instrument. It's absolutely incredible. I love the sound. It's so yeah. so uplifting, so relaxing, so peaceful. Yes. Well, and, and that makes sense in that show because it, the, the place where he comes from, where he learned, is supposed to be a place of Peace. enlightenment. Oh. So it makes sense they would use an instrument like that. I really love the sound of that instrument. Yeah. It's absolutely incredible. But that lip one... The one where it goes... Yeah, like when the guitar riff is happening... Yeah. You can hear the, the lip like one. A, it's like a... You know yeah. the thing in the background? Yeah. I was yeah. wondering what that was. It's the lip one. He has it in his mouth and he's like hitting like the oh. side of it or whatever. It's weird. It's a tiny little thing he has in his mouth and he's like... That's that's the background noise when, when well not noise the sound the mu the, the instrument I know, but yeah I know what that is but what was the there was a sound in the background that was like I don't know what to call it it was like it was going like wow wow like in the background oh I don't think that was the, the I don't think that was the lip thing I don't no. know what that was I don't know but there was a lot of stuff coming at you in this one song yeah now we have to search up the the like the what, instruments that they use yeah because I want to I want to actually I want to know what the name is like it's, it's gonna be I mean. Huh? Uh, but the guitar you're pronouncing is, four names is funny. Yeah. I feel like this is just gonna be. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go down that road. Uh, but now I'm really excited to see them live because yeah. they dress, you know, they, they dress appropriate for the style of music that they they play. <laughs> I, I'm, had a... I'm trying to be politically correct yes. with the words that I'm using. So, but we all know that you're not. So far, so good. I, ha I haven't I haven't open mouth insert foot yet. So far, let's try to make this video short so I don't do it. Anyways, I'm really excited about the show. I, I like uh, how they dress because it really goes with the style of their yeah. music. So it's almost like they're in full character, if you will, right? I really like the, the heaviness of the guitar and the drums. Like that, that riff. Dun, 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 super cool. But to me, everything then gets pushed to the side when, when, when you said the Asian cello comes on. Yeah. Because that sound is like so majestic, it's so peaceful, so levitating, you know? I love that. Yeah, it's it's far away from all the guitars and stuff because... The yeah, because you, you have a very... Uh, this this band has a mixture of Western sound with more tra traditional Asian sound. So it's like, it's like two separate cultures, two separate worlds colliding yeah. into one. So you, you get the sound, you kind of get a little bit of these two very different polar opposite worlds but somehow they incorporated well and they make like really cool music like this song is really cool i really enjoyed it yeah. very different you know so i'm i'm excited to see them live obviously i've never seen them live this is my first time actually uh listening to the band now i'm gonna dig into the band a little bit more and now you're uh, gonna get me a shirt because i want to i want to go to the show i'm trying to ignore you there i'm Why? going to the because we spend so much money on merch. Hey, uh, hey you're giving me a shirt. So I, I want to go to the show. I want to check out what their set the, uh, list is for this tour. I, I want to get into the new album a little bit more. Listen to the new album. Listen to some of their stuff. Because I really like this kind of music. Because it's not it's not it's not traditional in the sense of a traditional metal band. Because of the folk influences yeah. in there, it still has the metal component. It's still heavy. I, I like it. I I, I just. It, it allows your mind to just go into different directions. And to me, that's what music is all about. I really enjoy it. it, it the, I feel right now, listening to this, the same way I felt the first time we listened to LVD yeah. and Cellar Darling. We're out, we, we were like, what did we just listen to? Like, yeah. What, 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 what is that these, instrument? What, what is that instrument? What is all these mixtures of sound? Why is she going like this? Yeah, why is she, like, why is she doing this? Why is she what, winding it up? Why is he doing this? You know what I mean? Like... So, I feel kind of the same way I felt. I thought he was using an actual cello, but then I saw it was only two strings. No, I think it's only, yeah, it's only two strings, yeah. I believe. And it has the, the, the little thing and they play it. There was two of them. You notice? There was two. It's not just one. Oh. I saw two. 
uh, the sound of that instrument is absolutely uh, peaceful, I think is the best word yeah. to describe it. I really enjoy it. All right, guys. So this is it. This is Tenga Calvary CNB, I believe. CNB, Fight Your Darkness, whatever one you want to go with. And uh, like I said, these guys are going to be touring in North America. I'm going to be at their Toronto show November 23rd. If you're in Toronto, you have nothing to do on that evening. Even if you do, postpone whatever it is that you have yeah. to do. Come to the show. Hang out with me because I'm going by myself. This guy's not going. So come and hang out with me and, and listen to some, some different metal, but cool nevertheless. I really enjoyed this. Man, now I do have to buy you a t-shirt. Now I have to buy a t-shirt for me. Never yeah. mind you. Uh, I wonder, the, uh, uh, you haven't seen the poster. One more thing, you haven't seen the poster for this tour. No. The poster has like a Genghis Khan kind of looking, do you know who Genghis Khan yeah, is, right? Genghis Khan. So it has a Genghis Khan looking kind of guy and the poster with the dates. It looks badass. The poster really looks badass. So if the t-shirt has that on the front, it's absolutely like... Take my money. Yeah, take my money. I, I honestly, the poster looks absolutely incredible. All right, guys, this is it for today. Come back tomorrow. We'll have more videos for you. See you guys. See ya.